Blessed are the prayer in heart, for they shall see God. And uh, amazing shout out to you, Mitty, man. I'm looking at your video, Talent versus Desire. And brother, I must say I agree a thousand percent with what you're saying. You know what the whole problem is, Mitty, man, and you all the way right, man, as usual. A lot of people trying to be high in what God done created them to be. We want to jump out of this position and jump in this position because we think a lot of times we are blessed to do everything. I can't sing like Marvin Sapp, so why in the world would I be trying to keep on making myself be in Marvin Sapp's position? I'll do what God has blessed me to do. And man, looking at this video, man, it is an awesome video, bro, because that's what's wrong nowadays. That's what's wrong with a lot of these churches. Like we say, we put people in position that ain't got no business being in position. I was talking about this in the other video when I was talking about how these churches be, you know, voting the pastor in just because he can sing. And he ain't got no word in them, but, oh, let's get him in there anyway. He, man, he can sing. Well, he need to be in the choir stand then. He don't need to be over the church. See, that's the man. Boy, I love this video with me, man. I'm, I'm finna hit with you on this, man. And Brother, you ain't wrong on what you're saying because I'm also myself in the producing world, man. And when you are a music producer, you're an engineer, man, you see it all. You see all the hatred, all the envy. Man, you got folks can't get along because they jealous of each other's talent and gifts, man, like you was just saying. It's sad, man. We want to be higher than what God made us to be. I know a man right now, I ain't going to call his name, but every time I see him, he done changed his name. He profit this week. Then the next week, he's apostle. After that, he's going to be bishop. He caught up in titles. He caught up in people calling him this and calling him that. Man, this conflict with, with people in general, man, it's sad. That's why we can't get farther than where we are, man. And the music game is one of the most dirtiest businesses to be in. I'm talking about gospel and r and I'm saying that loud. The music industry is one of the most dirtiest, crucial, man, Hatred businesses to be in. I tell anybody that they want to get in it because I've been doing it for years, man. Not to brag and boast, but I've been doing it for years, man. I done seen a lot. Talent versus desire. Man, what a what a title and what a video. You know, I look at this with the younger musicians always being hated on by the people that's been playing for years, especially on YouTube. That's why I come on YouTube, you know, and wanted to help with all those videos. Nobody wanted to reach out and show them a lot of them and then you got these people that always got this show out mentality and they are really gifted but they don't have no humbleness they ain't about god they're about a show that's why i say you got people that praise then you got people that show off you got praise and worshipers then you got entertainers and like you were saying we put anybody in position we got these deacons in position they don't do nothing but get drunk all day Every church got that mean Ursula standing at the door. Don't nobody even want to come to church because she's looking at them crazy. Why don't you want to come to church? The Bible says if you want to be friendly. You want to make friends, present yourself friendly. We don't have that agape love, man. And what you are saying, man, is so on point, especially tying in with being a, a minister of music and a, uh, a musician. But I, only, I look past that too many, man. It's sad, bro. It's a sad day and time, man. More people are fighting against each other instead of working with each other. We supposed to be doing one thing, man. It's all about God, like Paul say. I don't need no credit. I do this for the name of the Father. And you, what I look like hating on you, man, man, because you producing. Say you producing and I'm not. And then you turn around and don't even want to tell me how to get into the business. That's what I love about you. You got a lot of knowledge, and you give out that knowledge for what? Free. You remember the Willie Lynch letter? That's what Willie Lynch was saying. Smart nigga versus dumb nigga. Oh, yeah. Got to take it back to that letter. Put the smart nigga versus the dumb nigga. I like what you said. I went to college. Two colleges you went to. Me? I ain't never went to college. I'm straight off the streets. And what can I do? I can look at your page, Mitty Man, or I can text you something. You're Hey, man, let me show you this, JT. I got knowledge on this, you know. Because where I'm weak at, you strong at. Where you strong at, I might be weak at. But I love how you give out your knowledge for free. 
because of your heart posture. Like you and PP John say, the heart posture behind what y'all do. So why would I why would I be jealous of you, man? You helping me. I ain't went to school a day in my life, man. And you are helping me. This whole thing about I want to be better than somebody else. You know when I look at me, the man, when you say this, I look at that whole American Idol show, man. Some of them people know damn well they ain't got no business on that show, man. They could have got around their own family. Their own family could have told them they was terrible and could have sang. But once again, everybody got to be a star. <laughs> everybody don't have no voice like Aretha Franklin. But I'm going to try to make myself sing like, like a woman. They're going to make themselves sing like Aretha Franklin. The problem is, there's too many people jealous of each other's gifts, man. And you remember, you remember the Bible, I mean, man, on the parable, Jesus was talk, talking about the, the men with the talents. You remember the one that, that, that you know, <laughs> what he do? He buried his talent, man. He hid his talent while the other ones was going on. And what did Jesus do? He took that, he said, take that talent away from him and give it to the ones who was going to work. Because there's a lot of people, they gifted, but they sitting on their gift. <laughs> Paul says, stir up your gift. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but what the Lord has given us is power. It says, stir up your gift, not sit on your gift. And then the ones that really need to be stirring up their gift, they are discouraged because of the next person in front of them. Oh, man, you own it, man, as always, man. No, bro, I had to do this video, man. It's, it's uh 2 o'clock in the morning out here, man. And I'm crunk. I got crunk looking at that video because I was already crunk. I can't sleep tonight, man. Well, it's another day. It's Friday now. I can't even go to sleep, man. I just happened to be on the computer and saw a new video came from you, man. And just It just happened to be on something I was talking about earlier, man. That's why I know your spirit be over here in this room with me, bro. We in this thing together, man. I'm not here to down talk nobody to encourage you, man. I see this in the big time gospel field, man. Like Jamal Hardwell say, when Jamal Hardwell did it, I think he did a video, a DVD in Houston. Uh, I think it was called a Houston School Jam Shed, something like that. But at the end of that DVD, I was listening to what Jamal was saying. How you had, you got cats that can't even get together. And it's hard to make a DVD because you got all this talent and gifts, but you can't put it together because somebody going to play the piano better than you. Somebody going to sing better than you. Somebody play the drums better than you. Somebody play the bass better than you. It ain't about who is the greatest. Man, I wish we can get past this because if we can learn about who, if it ain't about who the greatest many man, I believe a lot of stuff will move forward more because it's all about God, man. Like you say, you got people jumping the choir stand. Knowing they can't sing, and they give you more hell than anybody in the choir stand. That's why I say, any of the amazing, the ones you hate to see coming, them be the ones that be the most dedicated ones. And they ain't putting out a damn thing, man. All they is is decoration choir members. That's what I call them. They stand up there for decoration. Now you done throw somebody in the pulpit that done called themselves the priest. Now you done put a minister of music in the corner that ain't got no business being no minister of music. He can't even get to church. See what I'm saying, bro? You are speaking the real. We put anybody in position, and we expect it to be great. A lot of people ain't called by God, man. A lot of people calling themselves, bro. And I feel y'all. Like, man, you are not wrong in this video, man. And we don't care who don't agree with it, because the truth has been told, bro. And don't nobody want to hear the truth. All this envy, like P.P. Jones say, we need to get back to doing things in decent and order, man. What happened to that? Ain't no decent and order no more. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't decent and order no more. You ain't even got order no more in half of these churches. You ain't even got respect. How you gonna get order? You ain't got no respect. You ain't got humbleness. You got everybody running around like chickens with their head cut off. I like to say it like this. It's like having a football team with no quarterback. You got all these great players on the team, but they ain't got nobody to throw the ball to them. That's how I feel a lot of times in this life, man. I feel like a quarterback just holding the ball, bro. And I'm just holding it in my hand. I ain't, you know? <laughs> I, I feel like the quarterback with no team half of the time. But I thank God for the YouTube team. Let me say that right. I feel like the quarterback. That's why I say let me say that right, because you got people that's, that, you know, that's in the field, and they waiting on somebody to throw the ball. See, we are leaders. That's why I say this. We are leaders, man, and we're supposed to be throwing the ball. But see, the thing about me, <laughs> I'm not going to be throwing the ball in the crowd, bro. Yeah. I'm not going to get intentional grounding, bro. I need to be on one of the cards. That's how I look at a band, man. I'm the MD. I'm always the MD, and I catch hell, bro. 
And I say this, I tell the people who ever up under me, hey, man, I tell them like this, though, but God is the quarterback or God is the coach. I'm trying to throw the ball to you, but you won't let me. That's how I look at my whole life, man. My whole life been like a football game, man. It do. But this guy is my referee. Yeah. He throw those flags in on me because I done got a lot of penalties in my life. But he always correct me and straighten me up and let me score my touchdown. Because my touchdown is for him. And I feel you so much, man. You didn't disrespect nobody in this video. You just told the truth. The truth need to be said. Talent. Oh, man. I love that, man. Talent. God Almighty. Gifts. Talents. A lot of people just blowing it, man. They blowing it, they blowing it, they blowing it, and then they want to blame it on God. I look at that with, with some of the greatest singers, man. How people always, you know, oh, God going to take that gift away from you. You hear that all your life, man. But I tell people in a minute, you took your gift from yourself a lot of times when you look at it. Like you say, Mitty Man, you used to smoke. Now, you know damn well, Mitty Man, if you would have kept smoking, your voice wouldn't be clear like it is, man. I was listening to you saying in that video, man, you got a beautiful voice, man. I bet you your, vo your voice wouldn't stay like that if you would have kept smoking. I know too many cats, man, on Law State Vocal Box behind them cigarettes, man. Behind them, weed, behind whatever they smoke, man. They, now they be coughing all the time. They, they ain't got no wind, man. I still trying to do God's will, but you ain't got no wind the same. That ain't no way to represent God the same to God. The body say, the Bible say, present your body and live a sacrifice to be holy and acceptable. How you gonna be a dynamic singer and you killing your vocal box? Oh man. How you gonna be a great musician, a pianist, if you don't never pick up the piano and play it? God Almighty. How you gonna be a dynamic pastor if you don't study the word of God? How you gonna lead the people that you don't know how to lead? You gotta follow before you learn to lead. Problem is we got too many people leading that ain't never follow. And we clapping our hands talking about praise the Lord. We got somebody in position. And they ain't got no damn business being in the position. Just like you said, Mitty Man. So I had to hit back with you, man. Big love to you, man. It's your boy JT down here in D-Times, Dallas, Texas. AG Praise in Houston, that's my boy. I love him dearly, man. AG Praise, man. We get on the phone and we talk about this all day, man. Because it's sad the way we represent God. And it's sad the way we do people as supposed to be quote-unquote Christians. That's why the realest of the real on the God. We're going to keep on keeping the real, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy to the YouTube family. You like y'all call me. It's your boy, Pastor JT. You know, and we're going to be out here, man. I just had a shout-out to my boy, Reverend Mitty, man. You know, Bishop PP Drawings and Reverend Owens Flavor, slash Minister of Music Owens Flavor. Hot and Cliff, he on duty tonight. He had to go play somewhere, so we're going to keep our brother Hot and Cliff lifted up because he probably preaching somewhere on the Internet or playing or telling somebody something or getting on somebody to try to kick him out of church. I just have to make them laugh, man. God bless all of y'all, man. The love I have for everybody on here is unexplain it's, it's unexplainable, man, because I, I have to talk to my YouTube family because I'm more closer with the YouTube family than my own family. I'm out on that.